it's one thing to get pregnant, but it's another to stay pregnant and also to have the mindset to take you through 40 weeks and a delivery. And you're absolutely right. You know, we can be given the tools to, to get through that, but unless you're making the conscious decision daily to live that, it's not going to mean anything. Completely, completely. And, you know, you always used to say hope is not a strategy. And for years, I just lived in hope. And it's a bit like kind of burying your head in the sand and hoping for the best. And it's really bizarre because I think the way we approach fertility is so different to the way we approach everything else as sort of, you know, that, as you say, lovable type A. You know, if I wanted to, you know, achieve something professionally, I wouldn't rely on hope. I'd work my fucking ass off, you know, and I'd think strategically and tactically. And I'd think, right, okay, you know, what are the resources around me? How do I delegate? Who do I involve in this? How do I, you know, leverage my network to get what I want to? And as you say, involve the experts. But when it came to my fertility journey, I was just literally living on, you know, a prayer and hope. And it sounds like a contradiction to say I'm living on a prayer, but hope's not a strategy. But you can have faith and you can absolutely believe that God will will serve you as you hope or or will give. You know, we serve God and God, you know, God will answer our prayers. But at the same time, God teaches us to empower ourselves. We have a saying in Arabic, which is tie up your camel. You know, if, you know, if you're, if you're staying in an inn overnight, that's great. And you leave your camel outside, but you know, but don't, don't, don't just leave it to God to, to safeguard that, you know, tie him up and hope for the best and, and leave the rest to God. 